I hope you guys are hungry because today's recipes are outstanding. Oh. Hey guys, Kiri here from 50 Shades of Mom, tips for all shades of mom life. And in today's video, I am back to share three amazing, outstanding, unbelievable recipes with you guys. One of them is called Smash Burgers, the other one, Chili Garlic Shrimp, and then a Sticky Sweet Thai Chicken. Now, all of these recipes are from Every Plate, which I absolutely love, and I rant and rave about them all of the time. They're actually a sister company of HelloFresh, which does not surprise me because all of their products are fresh and delicious and super cheap. Now, if you guys would like to try every plate, my link is always in the description box, which saves you guys $20 off your first order. So you literally pay $10 for your first box, which gets you three meals for two people. Now I am not sponsored by every plate. We are not affiliated in any which way, shape or form. And so everyone always asks me, how do you have a code to give if you're not affiliated with them? Well, you guys, I'm simply sharing my refer a friend link that everybody gets for signing up with pretty much anything. Anything you sign up for nowadays has a way for you to refer a friend. By referring a friend, you give them $20 off and you get $20. So it's pretty much that simple. As soon as you sign up for every plate, you will get a option to refer a friend on your own. Sometimes in the app, they'll even give you the option to send a friend a box for free. Like right now, I currently have three invites where I can give anybody a free box. So if you're not following me on Instagram, I suggest you give me a follow over there because those three boxes just may, wink, wink, be given away at some point. But otherwise, you guys, for $10, it's worth it just to give it a try anyways. I absolutely love them just because their quality is so amazing, but they're so affordable. It seriously is all the quality of HelloFresh, but at such a cheap rate. I feel like out of all the research that I've done, this is one of the cheapest meal delivery kits to your house. And the products are always fresh. The food is fresh. I love the recipes. They're always delicious. There's been very few that I didn't like, and they're easy easy anybody can do it if you're a novice in the kitchen no big deal every plate has got you covered so right now let's get into one of their first recipes i promise you after you see these recipes if you're not convinced you will be so these are their super smashed burgers you guys there's barely any ingredients on my tabletop and this is what we're able to make a burger and some potato wedges so they gave you two potatoes one for each person to have some potato wedges on the side their ground beef, which I have to say their meat is always top notch. It's one of my favorite things about them. They give you one onion. They give you a head of garlic. There's some chipotle powder there, some mayo, and then brioche buns. You guys, those buns are to die for. All right, so here is all of our food prepped. We have our potatoes wedged. We have our onion sliced, and then we have our garlic minced up. And that's all you're going to need besides the few ingredients. Every once in a while, every plate will request some ingredients from you. Like on this particular situation, we're going to need some olive oil, salt and pepper. We'll need some butter. Like those are just simple things that we usually have in our cabinets at home. So I set my stove for, well, my oven for four. 125 degrees. I threw our potato wedges on a cookie sheet. I topped it with a little bit of olive oil and then some salt and pepper. Every plate is very big about you salt and peppering at every step, which has really opened my eyes to how important seasoning is. And so I threw those in the oven and while they're cooking, now I'm gonna go ahead and make like the oniony topping for the burger. So I threw a pan on the stove the top and once it got good and hot, I threw in a little bit of olive oil and then I broke apart all of our onion. You're not gonna really want them to stick together. You're really gonna want them to be separated so that when they really dwindle down, like you see there, it'll just give you the jellified look that we want. So you're gonna add a little bit of water and then some sugar and between the water and the sugar they're going to caramelize down to these really beautiful so sweet when you caramelize them like that it brings out the sweetness of the onion i love a burger with a good sauteed onion like that so i was really 
excited about it. And then now we have their ground beef, which as I mentioned, I absolutely love the quality of their meat products. And now we're just gonna go ahead and form them into burger patties. Uh, they suggested salt and peppering the burger while you were cooking it, and then adding chipotle powder to the meat. But being that I was serving this to Paul, I wasn't exactly sure if he would do the chipotle like that, just because that's not really his favorite flavor, but it is mine. So I just went ahead and made our patties without it, and I went a little heavy on this mayo topping. So in the mayo, we squeezed in their mayo, we did salt and pepper, we put some of our garlic, and then some of that chipotle powder, and then we just went ahead and mixed that together, and that made like a spicy Thousand Island so so good now i did like i said salt and pepper the burgers but these burgers didn't even come with cheese you're not supposed to cheese it i don't know about you guys but no burger to me is good without cheese so i had some swiss in the refrigerator we both love us some cheese so i put cheese on both of our burgers and then i actually used the potato wedges that were already out of the oven to put on top of the frying pan so it kind of steamed it so that the cheese would melt and now in that super flavorful pan i went ahead and threw a little bit of butter and then the rest of the garlic now that was not suggested by them but i wanted to toast the bun in the garlic now again not suggested by them but I love a good toasty bun they wanted you to toast the bun but a garlic bun I just knew that was gonna elevate this to a whole nother level and that's the good thing about this you guys they're giving you all the ingredients and the basis of a recipe and then you can change it to what customizes it for yourself so uh, Paul did end up liking this topping so I probably could have put some of that chipotle mix into the burger but once the those buns were done we just topped it with the burger and then the onions and we smeared a little bit of that stuff on that wonderful delicious delectable mayo on the inside of the bun and there's our salted potato wedges that were perfect with the pickle you guys what a dynamite meal I'm telling you super smash burger make it at home like chipotle powder is a game changer all right, now we're on to sticky sweet chili chicken. I absolutely love their picture plating. Whoever is cooking in the kitchen for them does a phenomenal job. So for this recipe, they give you three carrots that we're going to roast, and then they give you a lime, anything with lime I am all about because I love the citrusy flavors. They give you some soy sauce, and then look at this Kikkoman Thai style chili sauce. Like name brand stuff comes in the packages as well. That's more of the garlic we're using the rest of the head we didn't finish before we have some green onions some white rice and then some boneless skinless chicken breast so that is all we're going to need to make this meal again super simple you guys so we have the carrots diced up we have our lime zested and quartered we have the green onions sliced and separated whites and greens and then we have our garlic diced up so that's all that we're going to need for this time's recipe i will say Paul helped me get all of these veggies cut up and he did end up cutting those carrots the wrong way. They should have been thicker, but you guys will see that in just a second. So I put a little bit of some olive oil in the bottom of a pan and then I added in the whites of the green onion and our garlic and I waited for that to get a little aromatic. I added in our white rice and just kind of toasted it a little bit and then I went ahead and added some water and I'm going to let that sit so that that can and start to steam and then now is the time where we need to put our carrots in the roaster and by the way that he did them they ended up coming out a little too charred because they're thin so I just added olive oil salt and pepper and stuck those in the oven so now it's time to make our little topping sauce and so I just had some butter that I needed to melt I added in the soy sauce and then the Thai chili sauce that was so delicious and that sat off to the side and then now now you can see off in the back I salt and peppered our chicken and I have that on a frying pan with a little bit of olive oil you're literally just going to grill the chicken on each side our rice was ready so I added a little bit of butter to that salt and pepper and our lime zest you guys lime zest and rice is a game-changer look how pretty this grill pan came out 
and made that chicken absolutely gorgeous and then it was time to plate and I did my best to try and make it like the picture but we just put a little bit of rice on the bottom of the plate and then we have this chicken that we ladled that Thai sauce off of and then we have our roasted carrots topped with the green part of the green onion oh my gosh you guys so so good not really one for Thai, you guys. I expected it to be a little too spicy. Not everyone in my house likes spice, but this was spot on. Every plate really gave me an appreciation for lime rice and then the carrots and that chicken was just such a great compliment. I really enjoyed it. All right, you guys, now we're on to the last recipe. And for some reason, I lost my first clip. But this actually works out to a benefit because now I get to show you a little bit of the app for every plate that you can get right on your phone. So every week when I choose my meals, I choose it right within the app, which is pretty cool because the app is super easy to navigate when you're picking your meals each week. And then they store your choices. And so if, God forbid, you lose your card or something happens to your recipe, or maybe you want to cook it again later and you toss the card away. You can access everything right there on the app. So I went into what they call my cookbook and there is the recipe. Here's the picture of what we're making, which is chili garlic shrimp. And then there is what the actual recipe looks like and the ingredients that you'll need. So we need lemon, shrimp, scallions, chili flakes, chicken stock concentrate, arborio rice, and shredded Parmesan. And then you'll see right there at the bottom, it says what you'll need, which says sugar, butter, olive oil, salt, and pepper. So again, most of the things that we commonly have at home. So now that I missed that first clip, we're gonna dive right in into making this recipe. So for starters, we need to dry our shrimp. So the suggestion is to put a couple pieces of paper towel into a bowl and then remove the shrimp from the packaging and stick it into the paper towel to kind of suck up all the water. I believe this was one of the first recipes I had ever done with shrimp from every plate and my mind was blown, you guys. Again, I mentioned how good their quality of meat is, but these are diesel nice size shrimp. I mean, are they jumbos no but they were clean and beautiful like absolutely beautiful shrimp so we're gonna go ahead and add in our chopped garlic and then here are the other things that we needed a lemon halved and zested and then the same thing like before some green onions where you cut them and then separate the whites from the greens and now into our shrimp we're gonna add like I said that garlic some lemon zest some salt a teaspoon of sugar some olive oil and then we're also going to add in some pepper and some red chili flakes I thought the red chili flakes again were just gonna be a little too spicy for my family but that teaspoon of sugar really offset those chili flakes and between the lemon and the garlic these marinated so well so once I gave them a good toss I put them in the fridge for 20 minutes just so that they can really kind of absorb all of that flavor and then I threw a saucepan on the stove and I melted a tablespoon of butter and once it started to sizzle I threw in the whites of the green onion and then the other half of garlic I only used half that we cut for the shrimp and then we're just going to go ahead and toss that around and we're going to wait for that to get all smelly and yummy and delicious and then we're going to do the same thing and throw in our arborio rice now arborio rice is what you need to make risotto risotto is a very time consuming and it can only be used by arborio rice and so you'll see right there that was a bowl of stock concentrate that i made so they gave that stock concentrate and i filled it in a bowl full of water and then you literally have to stand over that risotto again very time consuming but you have to add a cup at a time wait for it to absorb stir and then add again until the rice is fluffy so it does take a little time but it is so creamy and worth it so while I'm working that rice I threw some butter into a pan and then added our shrimp you guys one minute on each side once it hits the pan it already starts cooking and if you overcook they're rubbery so one minute give them a good flip and then a little shake and then I promise you you will not be 
you sorry. It is so good. Now, once our rice has kind of reached its creamy consistency, the best that it's going to get, like I said, it's really time consuming. So you have to stand there and have the patience. But once it reaches that creamy texture, you're going to go ahead and add some of the lemon juice, some butter, some salt and pepper, and then parm cheese. Once you mix that all together, you guys, the creaminess of that rice and then the lemon with the parm cheese and then the salt and pepper, like it's also seasoned so, so well. And that's why I love risotto. I don't make it often because I don't always have the time, but when you do, it just, your efforts pay off because it's, there is no kind of rice like it. There's me sneaking a taste and that was it for me. Game changer. It was game on for me. I put this rice at the bottom of the bowl and then I added this shrimp on top with a little bit more of that lemon zest and then the greens of the onions with another wedge of lemon. You guys, this was the bomb.com. One of the best recipes that has ever come out of every plate and I will recreate it over and over again. Well, when my husband's not home to be exposed from his allergy, but you guys, when he ain't home, I'm telling you, it's game on. So thank you guys again so much for watching. That's it for our three recipes today. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope that you'll give every plate a try. I promise you, you will not be disappointed. Make sure you go find me on Instagram so you guys can keep a lookout for what's coming. I love you guys so much. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. If you're new, subscribe and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.